I think the only way this could be eclipsed is if RGG had me in one of the telephone cards in the bikini. Other than that, this is it. I've, I've, I've peaked. My name's Raul Coley and I'm an actor and I'm also kind of a big gamer. About a year, year and a half ago, the Yakuza series was recommended to me and that immediately kicked off this obsession. I've been constantly, you know, reading posts from the community and I learned about Ishin quite early on that this was this title that never got a Western release and that the fans have been clamoring for it. I think that the relationship that RGG and Sega have with their community is one of my kind of favorites. And the community itself, it's, it's this really fun kind of club that, you know, when you meet another Yakuza fan in the wilds, it is this like kind of cool club to be in. And I was a gamer before I was a film fan. So being an actor, when I did my first video game, it was a big deal. I thought I had kind of maxed out, like that was it, I hit that ceiling and nothing could get cooler than, than voicing video game characters. And then I got an email from my team that Sega and RGG would like to use my likeness and have me be a card in the game. It does a move called the Essence of Firestorm and it's basically a giant orange scorching flame that engulfs all the enemies around. At the drop of a hat, being able to blast orange fire uh, and that doesn't care who it upsets or incinerates, uh, that, I mean, that was me as a teenager, that fits. My parents would tell you that that was exactly what it was like raising me. It still hasn't kind of sunk in. It feels more personal than any character I've ever played. Like a Dragon Ishin is out next month and uh, I can't wait for you to play it and I can't wait for my face to be on your screen for as long as you keep playing my card.